Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Self Unboxing. If you'd like to know what collectibles I'll be unboxing next, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Back in 2009, when Sunrise celebrated the 30th anniversary of the birth of Mobile Switch Gundam, Bandai and Sunrise built a life-size, one-to-one scale of RX-78-2 Gundam in Odaiba, Tokyo. It was the very first Gundam statue that had attracted millions of visitors to see the sun stunning size there. Since then, we have the 1 to 1 RX-0 Unicorn Gundam, which was used to replace the RX-78-2 there, and then 1 to 1 ZGMF X-10A Freedom Gundam in Shanghai, 1 to 1 RX-93 FF New Gundam in Fukuoka, and the latest, 1 to 1 RX-78 F00 Gundam in Yokohama. And of course, we have tons of related merchandises, toys, and models with the revealing of these life-size statues. And this week, we have been unboxing this one, directly from Japan. Chokokin Cross Alpha Gundam Factory Yokohama RX 78F00 Gundam Night nice Illuminated Version. Normally, for such exhibition or location specific collectibles, you really have to be there in person to get one, or you can try bidding on various websites for a marked up price. But occasionally, Bandai will put up those on their premium premium that Bandai website to give collectors around the world a chance to purchase one. And this one was one of them that we could order on premium Bandai directly. Without further ado, let's open the shipping box first to take a look. As you can see, the cover art features a purplish hue to mimic the nighttime at Gundam Factory Yokohama. It may not be noticeable here, but the standard white color of RX-78 is not the pure white, and we'll see shortly. On the back are some textbook poses that give you some idea on how to pose your Gundam nicely. Let's take out the contents to look further. We go. Just like any of the similar collectibles from Bandai Namco, the mobile suit is well protected inside a styrofoam box. So let's take out the mobile suit for a better look. You can see the white it's not really white, but a deeper shade. And for the life-size statue, there are red and green lights on the shoulders, and these two. Although this Chokokin, it doesn't really emit lights in these areas, they've done a pretty good paint job 
to mimic the light emitting effects. But don't be disappointed. The eyes and head cameras as well as the chest do light up with the included batteries and I'll show you towards the end of the video. Let's put the mobile suit aside and look at the armaments. So we should be pretty familiar with RX-78 and the armaments should be of no surprise to us. We have the standard equipment like the beam rifle, hyper bazooka, two beam sabers and also the uh, effect parts and the signature shield. And then we have the display stand with the mobile switch details and some hand parts right here the hand parts so you can post your mobile suit safely and nicely not overly complicated yet it is exactly what we're looking for from our lifelong love of Gundam and in case you didn't know there's also a regular version of this RX-78 F00 as well with a brighter color scheme and a different box art design unlike this one and it's actually similar to this one I actually asked my friend in Hong Kong to get one for me a couple years back, but due to the pandemic, he still hasn't had a chance to ship that out to me. So I can't put both, uh, both of them to display at this moment. Hopefully, I'll be able to show them a, a side by side soon. So many, how many of the one to one life size Gundam statues have you visited so far? For me, zero. Because every time when I was traveling to Japan, I didn't get a chance to visit those locales which was sad considered I'm a big Gundam fan. And with the pandemic, I didn't even get to travel for the past three years as well, let alone seeing them with my own eyes. If you're planning to go to Yokohama to see RX-78 F00 in person, the statue will still be there until the end of March 2023. So with the reopening of the borders, maybe it's the best time to see it for yourselves one last time before it's taken down permanently. And maybe you can still get your hands on one of these two. And if you missed any of my Metal Build or GFF MC unboxing videos before, you can always check out the links below. Happy collecting everyone!